Hi, my name is Daniel with One Month No Carbs, and today's video is what to do if your child is overweight or obese. Now, don't be like a lot of parents and put your head in the sand, pretend it's going to get better, pretend it's going to go away on its own. It's a situation that will not change unless you change, unless your children change. And we were heading in that direction, our family as well. I was obese and my daughter was getting bigger. And I didn't understand why, but it scared me. And I looked deeper into why I was getting overweight. And when I found the true cause of my obesity, and again, I'm speaking for myself, is I was addicted to carbohydrates. I was addicted to sugar. And not sugar as in cake and candy and soda pop, but as in bread, pasta, rice, yogurt, and other sweet uh, bagels with peanut butter was my favorite thing, and I would eat two. And that would spike my blood sugar through the roof. And that's how I gained the weight, eating bagels, not eating donuts, not eating cake. It was bagels and pasta, whole grain, the way I was taught to eat by my doctor. Once I cut all those carbs, those excess carbs, the weight came off easily over a period of a year. And it was easy because I was not craving food anymore. I was not craving sugar anymore, and I was not hungry all day long. So that made weight loss really easy because at that point, I can use self-control because I'm not addicted anymore, and I'm not thinking of eating bread all day long. So my daughter was getting round around the face and the arms and we both noticed it and we talked about it and her diet was as bad as mine uh, she was eating a lot of bread plus fruit loops plus yogurt plus juice um, a lot of pasta so we had a discussion about that she's 14 years old and we agreed upon a few things no more drinking sugar so no more soda no more uh, chocolate milk, no more juice of any sort. So no more straight sugar from a drink. Uh, she likes to do drink water, green tea, coffee with sweetener, um, and diet soda once in a while. She's more into water and green tea than anything else, so that's good. And milk, she likes to drink milk. So that's a lot of sugar gone instantly by avoiding to drink the sugar. The second one was uh, the sweet cereals, they're gone. Um, if special occasion, maybe, but as a, as a rule, they're gone. And we were able to throw it away and what was, what was left of it. Um, I asked her and she said, yeah, I'm good. I, I don't crave them anymore. So she likes to eat bacon and eggs, uh, bacon and sausage, sausage and eggs for breakfast. Uh, once in a while, we'll do keto pancakes. She likes that. And they're, they have a good sweet taste to it. And with butter, there's no need to put the syrup on top. So she likes that. She likes to eat fruit. So fruit is her basically her carb source. Um, she doesn't like to eat vegetables, and I won't force her. And once in a while, she'll have salad, but rarely. Uh, it's mostly meat, cheese, nuts, and other food like that. So she's staying away from the sweet stuff. Um, she's dropped a few maybe pounds that she had, not extra, but was showing in her face. Her face was getting around. Now she's, there's no more fat in her face. And it's not about looks. I don't, you know, don't get me started about all oh, the way they look. It's not about how they look. An overweight body is, is in trouble. It's not healthy. It's got nothing to do with the visual aspect of it. So uh, I want to make sure my daughter is healthy and not focused on her weight, but focused on her health. And she is right now, which is good. So if your family, if your children, if your child is obese or overweight, and you are as well, um, it's not because it's in the genes. It's not because it's in the family tree. It might be family traditions, but you have to look at what you eat as far as carbs go. Now, if you're a soda and sugar eater, you know that that's a problem right there. But if you think that you're eating good because you're, you're eating 
uh, bagels and pasta and rice and grains like you're supposed to, that's why you're overweight because those are sugars as well. We're eating way too many of those. So a low carb diet is how I got to a steady weight. I'm not hungry. I will never gain the weight back ever again because I know the formula to gain weight is just to overeat carbs. That's it. I'm hungry, I eat, and I don't eat carbs, so I get full fast and I stay full longer and not hungry all day long. And if I feel like I need something, I'll have some nuts, I can have some uh, vegetables, I can have some jerky, I can have some cheese, I can have all sorts of things that won't raise my blood sugar, that won't raise my insulin level, that won't make me store fat. So for me, for the rest of my life, I know I will not gain the weight back. So if you're addicted to sugar, that's the first step you need to take. It's not going on a low calorie diet. It's not going to the gym five times a week. It's to lose the addiction to the carbs and the sugar. And I have a program for that. It's called One Month No Carbs Challenge. And it's a period of 30 days where we take you from a sugar burner, addicted to sugar, addicted to carbs, craving food all day long, to a fat burning body. 30 days later where you're not craving food anymore. You're not hungry all day long and your body is tapping into the body fat that's already there. There's plenty of food for the body in the form of fat. And we take you from a sugar burner to a fat burner. It's a 30 day process. It's step by step. We take you by the hand step by step, making sure you go through that. And people who come out of there, they're able to go all the way to their final goals all the way to their high school weight, all the way to their prom dress size. You can do that once you've lost the desire to eat all day long. That's the number one problem with most diets. They tell you to eat less, but you continue to eat sugar. You, t you continue to eat carbs, so you're hungry all day long, you're craving food all day long. It's only a matter of days until someone gives up, starts binging, and want to eat everything in the fridge. At this time in my life, I don't feel like binging. I would last year. I would eat an entire bag of potato chips last year. Now I don't even look at it. And if I have a snack, I don't need a full bag. I'll have a handful and I'm good. And it's just by losing that addiction. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. You never know. Somebody might uh, like the information I, pre I present and they might find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.